Well, as you can imagine, Chris, uh, he had a great deal to say on this. His opposition to this plan to move detainees possibly to the military prison at Fort Leavenworth has lots of support here. As you mentioned, the Obama administration may try to close down the detention center at Guantanamo Bay and maybe move some of those detainees to the military prison at Fort Leavenworth. And that is a big, big source of opposition here. In fact, the governor told me he didn't learn about that plan until after the fact. Which I don't appreciate that either. I mean, you know, look, okay, you're going to do this. You tell me about it, because this has a huge impact on us. The military prison at Fort Leavenworth has been on the post since 1875. It's built for just over 500. It averages about 450. And there are about 120 war on terror detainees still at Guantanamo Bay. Brownback says there's no need to move any of those detainees to Fort Leavenworth or anywhere else in the states. Can you keep the people from coming up, the terrorists to coming up to the facility and bombing it to make a statement? The economic impact, I truly believe, would be felt by the entire greater Kansas City area on a larger scale. Prisons are not new here. The area has the state prison in Lansing, a federal prison, the military facility, and others. And folks here don't worry about a breakout from the military prison. Look at the, 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 the quality of people in town that follow their prisoners around from, from jail to jail. Uh, they're not the folks that I want to deal with, at least, anyhow. Now, that might be a long shot, but it's a real worry up here. And at a town hall meeting today here in Leavenworth, Governor Sam Brownback pledging he will do everything he can to stop any detainees from being transferred to the Fort Leavenworth military prison. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News, Leavenworth, Kansas.